Columbo Closing. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the old TV show called Columbo. Columbo was uh, a, a TV series uh, played by Peter Falk, who was a, a, a detective. He was a detective who, who came off as somewhat of a you know, a, a, of a buffoon, I guess you would say. He, but yet he was always the brilliant mind behind uncovering the case. And so, you know, he seemed to be stumbling over his words. He seemed to be accidentally, you know, asking the exact right question. But really, he, he was a genius. And, and his character was genius in the way that he would actually investigate. And so what we do as salespeople is we, we want to glean from some of these, these traits. And so in Columbo Closing, one of the things that we, we find is that, you know, people, maybe they're, maybe they're a little leery or skittish of a, of a pushy salesperson. And, and you sense that, you know, in, in the sales process uh, that the, um, the decision maker you know, doesn't want to be forced into anything. And so you want to put them at ease. And so how do we put them at ease when they're saying no, no, no. And basically they're kind of closing the book and saying, you know, get out. And so one of the ways that we can draw from Colombo closing is on the goodbye. And, and so at the point when the client or the prospective client, the decision maker thinks that they, they've won, right? They've won by saying no. They've won by getting rid of you. At that point, that's when they actually drop their guard. They think that the, the, the sale is over and that's actually when you uh, have an opportunity to save the sale. And so how do you do this? Well, you follow the Colombo peter Falk pattern, which is this. First, uh, be underestimated. You know, we have this idea that we're going to march in there and, and be, and be the authoritative person in command, in, conchar, in charge. We're going to own the room. We're going to dominate the conversation. You know, most people just don't want to be sold that way. In fact, you know, you're dealing with people that are like that and, and they're used to winning. They're used to being in charge and in control and, and feeling superior. And, and so what you want to do is, is fine, play the role, uh, be underestimated, let them feel like, like they're in charge and, and that'll help lower, uh, their defense. That'll help lower their guard to where they don't feel as though they're being, they're being pressured. Uh, the second uh, lesson that we can learn from Colombo is let the prospect, you know, really take that that underestimation and 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 feel as though they're in complete control. We want them uh, to feel empowered, right? And, and that power is is perceived. They they perceive uh, that they're in control and they're in power because. You and the way your attitude is and, and being, you know, underestimated allows it. You're completely allowing them to uh, feel as though they're the ones that are in uh, complete control. That's a good thing. Well, how, how do we make that shift, right? Because we're, we're trying to close. Well, one of the ways, and, and this is really the, the key to the Colombo closes, you have to ask resonating questions. You know, you're, you're getting ready to walk out and, you, uh, you know, you, you want to ask, you know, oh, let me just pick up one more important negative information that I can take along the way that I can, you know, put in my, my quiver that I can add as a bullet to where when I come back, I've, I've got just a little bit more information or I'm building a little bit more rapport. And so every question, every question takes the conversation a little bit deeper. Uh, you gain more information, you gain more rapport, um, they feel more comfortable, you're more underestimated, and, and it actually allows the conversation to extend. And so, look, dig, dig, dig. You should have a, a, a laundry list of, of different ways to ask questions instead of telling, instead of telling 
about your product, ask. Don't don't tell them, you know, Major League Baseball is the greatest sporting event in the country. That that's telling them. Ask them. Don't you think Major League Baseball is the the greatest sporting event? See how it just it it puts it it just shifts the 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 statement into more of a question. Keep in mind the the other aspect that we want to draw from the Columbo close is play the long game. Play the long game. Don't, yes, I I want one time closes and we want to get in and get out and and really make things happen fast. But you know what? Don't worry about the one time close. Instead, have more of a of a mentality that you know you're you're seeding the ground, right? You're you're a farmer. You're a farmer and. Uh, you're in it for for the long haul, and so you're going to plant, you're going to water, you're going to cultivate, and you're going to be patient. You're going to be patient, and so play the long game. Don't don't try to close the deal right then and there. You've got time. Don't burn the bridge. Make sure that that this engagement, this interaction, um, again, they felt in control. They felt like you know they were superior, and you were just there, just asking some some good questions, just building some good rapport. And then finally, the 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 key to the Colombo co- close, I guess, is is that triggering at that moment in the sale when when really, for all intents and purposes, the close isn't going to happen, and you've sensed that, and you've sensed that you're like on your way out. Uh, the the decision maker has has shut their mind to you, and so what you want to do is just graciously you know kind of give that ground right give the ground be ready to to retreat it's the the idea of one step back so you can make two steps forward and so as you're you're backing out and i i do this in training all the time is as you're walking out you're you're backing out and as you're backing out it's just oh yeah one more thing oh yeah one more question while actually backing out it really really uh, puts their defense down. It really, really um, allows them to feel comfortable. And so it's amazing the great nuggets that I'll get as I'm backing out. And, and so what I do is in the totality of the, the, the sales call or, you know, the, uh, the presentation, I'm, I'm trying to think of, of information that I didn't get yet or I'm trying to think of a of a powerful statement that I want to make, but I do it in the form of a question. So let's say if you're in the middle of you know the the COVID virus and you've lost half of your staff, right? And and so obviously one of the key concerns is uh, retaining your staff and recruiting new people. And so on the on the way out, so oh yeah, w- one more question: What what are you actually doing to? Uh, retain to to keep your current employees and, and and what advantage competitive advantage do you have in the market to to recruit new ones so what i did was in the form of a question what i'm really doing is is making a statement that we can help you recruit and retain and so in the colombo close remember play the detective you don't have to be the be the power broker you can humble yourself and allow yourself to be a little, you know, underestimated uh, by letting them feel in control. And and the key is ask resonating questions over and over and over again. 